Here's how Russ finessed Columbia Records out of millions of dollars. First, he built a huge catalog. Since he was independent, he owned 100% of the rights to his music. When artists rely on labels to market their music, a lot of times they end up giving the rights to their music away. So even though they're famous, behind the scenes the labels are the one making all the money. However, when Russ approached Columbia, he was already making six figures a month from his catalog. Since he had all the leverage, instead of signing over the rights to his catalog to Columbia, he was able to partner with them on a 50-50 deal for his album. Leveraging Columbia's resources, he was able to get his album massive recognition through things like the radio and high-profile interviews. However, Russ was a step ahead. He understood that not only are they going to promote his album, but the people that listen to his album are now going to go stream the rest of his discography, the music he owns 100% of the rights to. So he was able to leverage the label's resources to get exposure for the catalog he owned 100% of the rights to. Want a free custom marketing plan? Shoot me a DM on Instagram.